I'm here with local identity uh, surf photographer Rambo Estrada, um, just talking obviously about the pollution and uh, this uh, this ship the arena that's ended up on the reef, mate. Um, it's obviously going to take a little while. How do you, do you think you'll get back in the water? Uh, yeah, no, I mean I'll definitely get back in the water, but. I'm kind of thinking if we're back out there by Christmas, so I reckon it's it's not a bad uh, bad result. Yeah, and do you, are you concerned of obviously for your, your your own health once you do get being a photographer and being in the water? Uh, yeah, definitely. Even just from the clean up, the last few days have felt pretty um, pretty average in the evenings. Um, but I mean, if I like, I sort of prefer to shoot water photos over shooting from the land, but. If I was shedding water and I sort of felt my health was at risk, I'd probably just shoot from the land for yeah. a while longer. Yeah, for sure. So, you know, obviously you, you, the general feeling amongst the surfing population, you, you, you're here and, and a lot of people talk to you about different things. It's pretty optimistic or pretty devastated or how uh, do you sort of the feeling of, of everyone? Everyone's really upset about it, like um, qu- quite emotional really, which, you know, you sort of wouldn't really think from a bunch of blokes, but um, yeah, everyone's pretty concerned, and I guess the one thing is that no one really has any idea of how long it's going to take to clean up, and no one's really given any sort of an indication, you know, like yeah. I, I haven't heard anyone in any sort of media going, hey, you know, it'll probably be a couple of months before you guys can go in the water, or hey, it's going to be six months, or hey, it's going to be two years. No one has even put like a rough estimate on anything, which is yeah. sort of a little bit worrying. So once we sort of possibly get that information or have some understanding of how long or what what it's going to take, it gives us a starting point to, to sort of... Yeah, for sure. I almost feel a little bit better about it now because uh, worst case scenario for everything has pretty much happened. And so like you're not really worrying about, oh, is this going to happen or is that going to happen? It's happened, so now we just sort of got to deal with cleaning it up yeah. so you can kind of move forward, I guess. Yeah. I suppose, obviously, running around taking photos of all the debris and the oil slick on the beach and bits and pieces there, you've you had some pretty good first-hand experience of how it is. Do you think the rest of the country sort of understand? Uh, yeah, it's pretty hard to understand in, in, unless you're right there and, you know, unless you're right there and you're in front of it. Um, like I know, yeah, a, a, a bunch of people, including myself, have gone down the beach and just ended up in tears, actually crying um, from yeah. from from seeing it right there with your own eyes, you know. And I've I've put up heaps of photos, and everyone's like, "Oh, that's disgusting! I'm shocked! Well, I'm horrified!" But yeah, sort of a photo. It's something that just looks gross, you know. But then when you when you're there and experiencing it for yourself, and you're just thinking, "Man, this isn't going away quick," then yeah. it's um, yeah, it's it's definitely pretty emotional. So, uh, you know, obviously with the other disasters that have been around the country in the last 18 months, Pike Carilla and, and the earthquakes and that, maybe a bit more apathy and understanding with just for the people? Sort of oh, things? definitely, yeah. It's just someone sent me a picture today of some, like, starving Ethiopian children and they're like, mm. oh, would you get as upset about this? And mm. I was like, well, if it was in front of my house, I yeah, definitely would, you yeah. know, I suppose. Yeah. Um, so it's a lot more real. Yeah, because it's right, it's right there, and, um, and and it's affecting you on a personal basis, I suppose. So mm. that way, you um, yeah, it's a lot more emotional. Okay. Well, yeah, thanks heaps for the insights, and um, yeah, hopefully it's uh, sooner rather than later. But the, I mean, the best best thing will be once we know. Definitely.